Hey guys, I'm back with a new video and this video is going to be a review video on the new Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. Um, the last review, I did a review slash first impression video on my channel last and it was a Spanish one. So I hope you guys did watch it and enjoy it. If you understand Espanol. And I was going to do it in Spanish, but I decided since I already did my last one in Spanish, was a review video, I'll just throw it in and do it in English, and then my next video could be in Spanish. If, I hope you guys are all enjoying those videos, by the way. So I was really excited when I found out that Maybelline was coming out. They already had their Fit Me foundations, but I was excited when I heard, or when I seen, and found out that they were going to come out with a matte and, matte and poreless foundation, because, like I have said in numerous videos, I have oily skin so I tend to look for foundations that mattify my skin and leave it dry and don't leave it looking dewy and oily and that help me stay matted throughout the entire day so that same week I heard that Maybelline had their new foundation I rushed to my Target and got the Maybelline and I believe it was like $6.99 or $7.99 I'm not too sure if it was $6.99 or $7.99 but it was one or the other definitely really affordable so you can't really complain and let me tell you that right away if you have oily skin like moi you need to rush to your target or cvs or write it or any drugstore you have near you and purchase the foundation because i'm wearing it right now and i don't know if you can see it's pretty matte of course all of this lighting and it's making me kind of hot already but it really does work you guys so this foundation is said to have like a uh, it mattifies your skin, leaves you matte finish, it erases the look of pores, it covers up your pores, it does not clog your pores, which is also a plus, and it is a long wearing foundation. So, and does it have SPF? No, it doesn't have SPF, but if you use a moisturizer that has SPF, you know, you can't really go wrong. I purchased the Pure Beige 235 foundation, just in case you wanted to know which one it is I'm wearing. And I really liked it. When I first turned it on, I was like, okay, you know, it's kind of working. But it wasn't a hot day. It was kind of like a cloudy day when I wore it. So as I mentioned before, the la the fit me the regular fit me foundations, if it's like a cloudy day, I can get away with wearing it. But if it's hot, 80 degrees at the most, I have oily skin within like I don't know four or five hours of wearing the foundation. Once I've been out and about in the sun. So I was like, you know what, I need to try it a couple more times when the weather is nice and warm. And it works. It works, it works, it works. I don't know if it's like, uh, it's like perfect on the pores. But I really do like that it leaves me the matte finish. Like, I really do love that. Because regardless, I want, I'll end up wearing either the pore eraser from Benefit or the baby skin from Maybelline to do all that pore stuff. So if you combine it with this, you'll really be good if your pores do show, show a lot. So I strongly suggest that you try the Fit Me Maybelline, the maybe, oh my goodness, what is going on? Blah, 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 rewind. The Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. They also have, if you have like really dry skin as opposed to myself, they do have also the new Fit Me Foundation for dry skin and it leaves you like that dewy finish. So if that's what you want, they do have that also. They came out with two different ones, the matte and poreless and then the dewy finish. So it's up to you depending on the skin type that you have. But this one is for normal to oily skin. And it's oil free, which, you know, it's what helps it make be um, matte. So definitely I strongly do suggest, in my opinion, I always genuinely do a review video on something that I want to recommend to you guys. Because I genuinely love it and I it worked for me. So I strongly do suggest you guys go out and try it if you guys are looking for an affordable foundation that will give you that matte finish. I didn't buy the powder though. It just come also with like the little square powder because the powder that I have, which is the Rimmel Stay Matte, really works for me even when I wear it combined with this. So I was like, you know, I don't really need to do it. But right now that I said combined, I do sometimes wear it combined if the day is going to be really hot. But if it's going to be just a warm day, like in the 70s, it's going to be, the sun's going to be out, it's going to be too, too cold. I can wear this by itself and it'll still look really matte. Like, it, 
seriously, like you don't need to wear powder on top if you don't want to finish it off. If you don't want to finish off your, your makeup with powder, you can get away with just wearing this itself. So I definitely say you try it out. I give it two thumbs up because it really works wonders and I'm definitely going to keep purchasing it and keeping it in my collection and wearing it. It really does a trick. So yeah, I think I already said it like 10 times. If you want to try it, go out and buy it. Really affordable. So I just wanted to do a quick review video to let you guys know my thoughts on the new Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I hope you guys enjoy these review, vid review videos. I'm like tongue tied today guys so thank you guys so much for watching again if you like these kind of videos leave me a thumbs up if you want to request another review on an item let me know what item you want to see a review on <clears throat> and i'll definitely get that up for you guys so thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to give my video a thumbs up like i said subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and also don't forget to fat follow my fashion blog at fashionista and the city to see all of my outfit posts there and where everything is from because I list every single item where I get it from. And then also don't forget to follow me on Instagram at ashg underscore 24 because all of my outfit posts go there first before I upload onto my blog.